part two of the interview. We're gonna now talk about uh, your upcoming fight. You got an eight round fight uh, at Fantasy Springs on a Golden Boy card. Now, you haven't fought uh, a, a fight with Golden Boy since they've signed with the Zone. What is the platform of the Zone mean to you and the potential that you can land a big fight on the Zone? To me, when I first heard about it, I was about the Zone and everything, and um, everybody um, networking and becoming the, kind of like the new social, like the new network for combat sports. And I didn't really know what I would really feel about it until it just hit and everybody was just fighting and, and I have, you know, I loaded it, I have it. And it's just so much easier to, to see and to watch people and I just feel like uh, for me that'd be awesome because I have a, a, a good following and I have a lot of people that I need to tell to watch and sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do for people. So I think Dizone is like, it's going to make a, a big change in my career and a lot of women's uh, careers for that matter and a lot of boxers. It's a better platform, it's a bigger platform and it's uh, easy accessible to people right, right now and that's kind of all you really need to, to kind of make it, especially in combat sports. For sure, for sure. Um... What did it? What did it mean to be featured in that Nike commercial? Oh, that, that Nike, yeah, it was awesome. Um, they told me somewhat about it because Nike—they're so big and so have so much. I've been with them since 2010. They've always been the same. It's like they really care about their athletes and stuff. But when it comes to when they mesh, like highly celebrity athletes and everybody together, they can't tell everybody exactly what's going on. So I kind of didn't know what was happening. They told me they were gonna—they were putting me because they needed. They didn't ask me for footage and stuff. They told me that they were gonna put me in a commercial that was a uh, that was gonna help inspire women, and that's all I knew. So when I saw it, I saw it about two weeks before everybody else saw it, and I like almost wanted to cry because I was called crazy a lot, a whole lot. I mean, that was one of my fallouts with USA Boxing. Like when we, the reason that, um, I stopped in the amateurs was because I was having a fallout. I kind of wanted to change it up, go pro and, and figure out what's going on. And I was like, you're crazy, you're crazy. I would always hear that was crazy even when I was younger, going, wanting to go to the Olympics, that was crazy. I was always crazy. So that commercial was like a big deal for me. And they're doing a sequel. They're doing their third phase of that. And I just shot that like three weeks ago. Oh, dope. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty cool too. So like the fact that you made it there was like vindication in your mind, like all those things that people told you and you seeing yourself in such a, a high caliber commercial such as Nike, it just... It came out, huh? Yeah, and I think it was really cool to, to be able to be that person. Um, and Because it was all, it represents all women boxers, you know? It's like, there's so many of us and the girls before me who had, like, put in footwork. And then I would say, you know, my group of women put in a lot of work. And then there's a younger girl trying to keep it up. And it's just, like, this huge movement right now. And to just play that role to represent, like, the boxing part of it was, was really, it meant a lot to me, you know? Because I know that... For people all over the world who saw that, it wasn't, they weren't just seeing me, you know, they were seeing a woman boxer. And that could be, you know, any one of us. So to play that part was was awesome for me. That's dope, that's dope. 